Hi, peer students. Welcome to summer 2020. I assume you're a Alley College Promise student starting in the hashtag peer success orientation program. Welcome. My name is Mario and I'm one of the full-time librarians at the Pierce College Library. Now, in this module, we're going to show you a few short videos to try to teach you the essential information that you should know about the library as a new student. So here I am showing you the library's website. Our website is separate from the college's website. And this is our homepage. Anybody can easily find our website. Usually if you Google Pierce Library, it's one of the first results. And even if you don't see that result, you can always just go to piercecollege.edu. And if you click on this Pierce College icon at the bottom, it will take you to the campus's official website. And like I said, right there, there is a library link on the left-hand side in case you forget how to find the library's website, right? But once you know how to come here, normally students come to us because they need textbooks for their classes. Now, because of COVID, and because the campus is shut down, students don't have access to the physical library building and therefore you don't have access to the print books that we would normally lend you and that you would borrow from us. Because of that, we are going to have to work a little bit harder in order to find you a free copy of your textbook. But we'll touch base on that a little bit later. In terms of what the library can offer to you, since there are no physical textbooks or print books available at this point, we are limited to ebooks, that is, digital versions of books that live in our databases. And of course, all of our academic databases that you have access to as a peers student. So in case you didn't know, only peer students enrolled in a class at Pierce during that active semester have access to our databases. So if you're taking a class at LA Valley College, for example, you could not come here to the Pierce Library website and use our databases. So this means that if you wanted to use one of our databases and you're not off campus, as most of us are not anymore, you can still use them because whenever you click on one of our databases, let me show you. So on the left-hand side, you can click on databases A through Z. This gives you the full list of all of our databases, which is a pretty good list for a community college library, FYI. So whenever you wanna open one of these databases, let's say Academic Search Complete, right? As a student, and since I'm off campus, our website is going to ask you for your student ID number and your month and date of birth. So your password is your birthday without the year. That is just four numbers. So if my birthday is June 4th, then it would be 0604, but no numbers of my year. And your student ID number, well, you know, you should know that. So I have to cover this because students always ask, oh, how do I log into the library databases? So don't forget. So once we do that, you should have access to all of these databases and you know, you can sort them out through the discipline or department that you might be researching, researching, or you can even go to database types and sort them by, oh, I only want databases for eBooks, for example, right? And so then this list will filter for only the databases that in this case specialize in ebooks. Now let's go back to the library's homepage. And I do want to show you another technical feature of our website. So you see this search bar on the top right hand corner. This search bar looks for keywords in our web pages but it doesn't search for things inside our databases or our catalogs. So this type of search is only if you're looking for a specific thing inside the website. So let's say that I'm looking for a library page on MLA style, right? The citation style. So I can type that keyword and that um, 
feature will look for anything that has the word MLA in our library web pages. So on the left hand side, you can see, okay, they do have a page on MLA 8th called citing your sources. So you just would kind of click on that because presumably you were looking for information on MLA 8th, the citation style, right? And then you can see how huh, the Pierce Library does have a page on citations. So we are going to teach you how to navigate the library's website because each library is a little bit different and each library has different resources. So bear with us in this module and hope you get a lot out of it. Thanks.